I wish I could look in their minds sometime, the six students. When they first got out here, they were quiet. They didn't even know what to ask. And now all of a sudden you're starting to see them ask questions. I took it to the Dinuba High School engineering students and said, here's your palette. These are some ideas. These are the type of projects that will be coming. What are some thoughts that you have? How might you design it? And we actually turned the creation and the design of a 21st century museum into a project-based learning experience itself. Tonight, uh, students are here at a night at the 21st Century Museum. And tonight, our students are demonstrating some of the projects that they have worked on all year long. And these projects are projects dealing with linked learning. Last year, we were at the Ag Center, and we quickly realized that, hey, this is too small. We're going to have to find a bigger venue. And so that's why we moved it to the Convention Center. It's great to practice at your school site with parents and teachers, and then it's fantastic to take your project to a very large public event where you'll see all kinds of people and get all kinds of feedback. They've been so excited. They're like, we're famous, we're, we're going to be on camera, people are going to take pictures. Kids are having fun while they're learning. And tell me about this project, and what are you, your thoughts on it? This project was very interesting because we had the chance to work with like a club and get to know them and we also get like got involved in our four classes such as math, chemistry and English. We get to like work with um, SolidWorks um, program and the 3D printer and got to like actually understand how it worked. It was fun because it, it really did show us how to work as a team. That's what the academy really does. We stick with like lots of our same classmates and we learn to be a team. This event it gives credibility to what the students are really experiencing in the Teaching Learning Act of the California Standards. Students are called upon to solve problems, seek solutions, then communicate their understanding. These types of projects allow students to have a deeper knowledge and comprehension of what they are learning in the classrooms. They're actually getting hands-on and they're actually learning by doing. One big project that they're working on is Outside the Lens, which is digital media, how to use the cameras, how to take pictures. We're from Elbow Creek Elementary. We went up to Sequoia National Park. The project was what the park means to us. It's fifth and sixth grade, so we're all sixth graders, but fifth graders also participated. So we were able to express ourselves through these pictures. And what OTL really means is to tell a story through the lens of the camera, and that is exactly what we did. You got these pictures in your camera. What was the coolest thing that you found by using the camera? Um, I think it was after we edited them. This is my board. Uh, those are all my pictures. I did a pastel and overlay, and I brought the colors out on that one. And they did tons of pictures, and those pictures actually are going to be going to national parks, not only around the California, but around the country. As a museum curator, we had the opportunity to design this whole museum and plan out what went where and how everything was going to flow, like the traffic, all the people were walking. I think it's a great opportunity here in Tulare County because a lot of times our students don't get that venue to present to and with this wide range of people that are going to be here tonight, I think it's a great authentic audience for your project-based learning. Our new curriculum teaches the kids to think, why, how did I come up with this answer? Research and development and career pathways is what it's about right now and the California standards fits right in with this program and I foresee it becoming one of the major uh, activities uh, in a school year. 